Physiology SAQ 13. A. Define the term homeothermy. Homeothermy is the ability of the body to maintain the core temperature within a narrow range of 36.5 to 37.5 degrees Celsius despite large fluctuations in environmental temperature and their metabolic activity. B. Describe the physiological response to hypothermia. Sensor. Hypothermia stimulates cold receptors at the skin. Krauss bulbs via A delta fibers, which are active at less than 25 degrees Celsius, and thermal receptors at the spinal cord, deep thorax, and abdomen. Efferent pathway is via the spinal thalamic tract. Controller is the posterior hypothalamus, which responds to cold efferent impulses, integrates input, and initiates physiological and behavioral effector responses for heat conservation and production. Efferent pathway is via sympathetic nerve fibers, motor nerve fibers, and via hormonal systems. Effector responses results in heat production and conservation. Behavioral responses include seeking of shelter and warmth, thick clothing, and avoiding source of cold, and increasing motor activity. Physiological responses include shivering, non-shivering thermogenesis, vessel constriction, insulation, Countercurrent heat exchange at the skin, pillow erection, reduced sweating, thyroid hormone and catecholamine actions. Shivering. Somatomotor activation results in shivering, which consists of oscillating contraction and relaxation, especially at truncal muscles. This increases heat production by up to 5x and increases metabolic rate by 2 to 3 times. Non shivering thermogenesis increases metabolic heat production without mechanical work. It is activated by beta-3 sympathetic activity. Metabolic rate increases by 2 to 3 times. It occurs in brown fat. Uncoupling protein is inserted into the inner membrane of the mitochondria and uncoupling of oxidative phosphorylation occurs. Free passage of hydrogen ions into the mitochondrial matrix occurs without ATP synthesis. Non-shivering thermogenesis is only significant in neonates. Skin effectors of heat conservation vasoconstriction of arteries, veins, AV anastomosis and precapillary sphincters occur. There is increased cutaneous sympathetic nervous system stimulation from the hypothalamus and alpha-1 adrenal septal agonism. Skin blood flow reduces by up to 10 times. Skin temperature reduces to near ambient temperature. There is reduced temperature gradient between the cool skin and cooler surrounding. There is reduced heat loss via radiation convection and conduction. Vasoconstriction is inhibited by general anesthetics and vasodilators. Insulation. Physical contact is required for heat loss via convection and conduction. Skin and subcutaneous fat separate internal organs from the cold environment. Insulation prevents heat loss via radiation, convection, conduction and evaporation. Countercurrent heat exchange. Cutaneous arteries lie next to cutaneous veins. Venous blood recovers heat from the arterial blood as the former warms on its way back to the body. Temperature gradient is established, which reduces from internal to external body part. Pillow erection. Contraction of pillow erector muscles of hair reduces heat loss by convection via trapping of a layer of warm air along the skin. Reduce sweating. There is reduced heat loss via evaporation of sweat. Thyroid hormone and catecholamine secretion increases metabolism and heat production. C. How would the physiological response to hypothermia be affected in patients under general anesthesia? General anesthesia causes dose-dependent impairment of thermoregulation. General anesthesia reduces all efferent input via thermoreceptors. GA increases the inter-threshold range from 36.8 to 37.0 degrees Celsius to 34.3 to 38.3 degrees Celsius. Thermoregulatory processes such as vasoconstriction, non-shivering thermogenesis, and shivering occur at lower body temperature. Behavioral effectors are impacted by general anesthesia due to loss of consciousness and muscle paralysis. General anesthesia impairs all autonomic effectors, which include vasoconstriction, shivering, brown fat metabolism, and release of calorigenic hormones. Vasodilatory effects of GA causes heat loss 
via radiation, convection, evaporation, and conduction from cutaneous vasodilation. Muscle paralysis prevents shivering. GA causes reduced metabolic activity and thus reduced heat production.